What's up, it's your boy CJ Goodfella. Back with the Boxing Clinic doing another video. Um, I'm going to reiterate, reiterate what I said on the other video. Um, tonight, we're going to do a post-show, uh, post-fight reaction for Wilder and uh, Chris Ariola fight and Sammy Vasquez versus Diaz fight. Um, we're going to do it on Facebook, so follow us at the Boxing Clinic on Facebook. Um, I do a lot of random uploads straight to Facebook. Uh, just randomly so I can just have some of the Facebook followers have a different view from the YouTube view that's why you should follow both and you know when I can't upload the video to YouTube when I'm strapped for time I just go Facebook live and just go on chats and rants and shit like that but um to the topic of the video um comparing um Canelo Alvarez versus Amir Khan to Kell Brook versus Golovkin and is Golovkin really a hypocrite? Um, is Team Golovkin a hypocrite? Because they all speak random shit all the time. But um, I'm going to give you an answer, a PNA to answer, uh, of course, because it's a PN. But, uh, you know, looking at it to compare it, um, Canelo is a 154 pounder, um, even though the fight was fought at the middleweight uh, weight of 155. But Canelo is physically heavier than. Uh, Golovkin is rumored to be he rehydrates higher. Um, Canelo is a good puncher, a good body puncher. Um, has a track record for fighting smaller guys. Um, is physically shorter than Golovkin. Um, he doesn't have that length that Golovkin has, but is a vicious, vicious body puncher. And, um, you know, he has had options, more options than Golovkin had, other than Khan. You know, he had the Charlo brothers, J-Rock, Andrade, uh, Lara again. Everybody wants to see that fight again because it was so close. Um, Canelo had more options. And to talk about Amir Khan, um, you know, he started at 135, been knocked out there, been knocked out at 140. Um, 147 didn't fight a league competition uh, and somehow got this fight after having, like, been knocked out three times and losing, like, four times. Um... You know, to go on the Golovkin route, um, Golovkin didn't have that many options. Frost said no. Saunders said no. Um, Ebex Jr., I guess he was bullshitting. So he didn't really have that many options. And, um, you know, he reached down to Kell Brook somehow. They got made. Uh, Kell Brook has never been knocked out. His nose has been broken, I think, versus Carson Jones. He had a really, really tough fight versus Jardiman and Carson Jones. But I really never seen Kell Brook hurt. He's a physically big welterweight. Um, good power. I think he could be a solid uh, junior middleweight right now. So it's not as bad as people think. Um, but in all, I think this fight, this Golovkin Brook fight, is, is worse uh, than the Canelo Khan fight um, for the simple fact that Khan did face elite competition on his way up, even though being knocked out numerous times. Kell Brook hasn't fought one elite fighter. I don't consider Sean Porter an elite upper echelon fighter. Um, he fought a lot of tomato cans, and this is a huge leap up in competition for Kell Brook. That's just my opinion, but I think it's very, very close. This is your boy CJ Goodfellow.